Okay, we're now talking about exponential and logarithmic forms. So the, the, what this all starts at, it all starts from the exponential function. We looked at that in the previous section. We looked at the graphs of the exponential function. We had y equals b to the x. So now what we're looking at is the inverse of the exponential function. So for the inverses, that goes back to a previous section, and when we did inverses, we switched the x and the y in order to find an inverse. So if I want to find the inverse of the exponential, I would get this. Switch the x and the y, and we get this one. Now if I want to solve this one for y, we haven't talked about how we do that uh, before this time. How do you solve for an exponent? Well, what you need is you need a, what's called a logarithm. A logarithm is a way that you can solve for the exponent. So in fact, actually, a log is a type of exponent because we're solving for y here and the y involves a log. So the actual definition for a logarithm is nothing more than really an exponent. You're just solving it for the, the y that's here. So both of these, we have two different forms. Both of these would be inverses of the original exponential function. This, uh, the problems in this section are involving going back and forth between the two different forms, and that's the first examples that I have here. We're not going to look at the original one. This one's an exponential function. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about uh, the exponential and logarithmic forms. So we have, we have both forms. They both mean exactly the same thing. And again, both of these, exponential and logarithmic form, both of them are inverses of the original exponential function that we have. So the first example says we want to change 7 equals log m5 into exponential form. The way that you do this is if you look at the original one, we have a b. It's raised to the, uh, the y, which is after the equal sign, is in the equal x. So when you're changing from one form into the other, you're going to take the base, you'll raise it to the number after the equal sign, and that's going to equal whatever number is left. So to do this one, we're going to start with the base. The base is m. We're going to raise it to the number after the equal sign, m to the 7, and that's going to equal 5. And that would be it. We don't have to solve that equation. It's not asking for, for us to solve it. They only want us to take it back into exponential form, so it's solved. M to the seventh is an equal five. This one, you're going to take the base, which is C, raise it to the number after the equal sign. C to the eighth is going to equal six. So your answer would look like this. C to the eighth equals six. And again, this one, you don't have to do any more either. You're not solving for it. All you're doing is going from the log form back over into exponential. Going this way is actually going to be very useful in future sessions because we, we want to get into solving equations. And when we get into solving equations, it's a lot easier to solve it in exponential form than it's going to be in the log form. And that's why we want to change it over. Let's take a look at these. Now these over here are going the other direction. These, you have something in exponential form and you want to go back into a log form. So here's how we do that. If you have something in the exponential form, what you do is you're going you're gonna to start out by writing a log of that base. Whatever number is in the exponent position that goes after the equal sign, and then whatever's left, you put it inside the log. So for one like this, what you would do is first, I would put log 1.4. So I put a log of the base that's there. The base is your original B. We start with this one. Then what you do is you're going to put an equal sign, and I'm going to put a 5, because 5 is going to be the exponent that's here, and then whatever's left over is q. So therefore, this circled one, that would actually be the answer. If I want to take q equals 1.4 to the fifth, this is how I would write it out as a log. 5 equals log base 1.4 of q. I want to do the same exact thing with this one. To do this one, Again, I'm going to start by putting a log of 2, because 2 is the original base of that one. Uh, after the equal sign, I'm going to put a d, so I have d equals log 2, and then I have an 8 that goes afterwards. So this right here, d equals log base 2 of 8, that would be the equivalent log form for this one. Then finally, I want to do this one here. Okay, now I have, I have log, I'm going to put an e there, because that's the base that originally was given there. I put the y after the equal sign, the exponent. I always go after the equal sign. And then I have an x that goes there. Now, this log that we get is actually a special log. This is called a natural logarithm. And usually you see it written ln x. 
So a log base E is the same thing as an LN on that. So a lot of times you'll see natural logs will come up, particularly more in later sessions. Instead of writing log base E, we'll write it as uh, L and X. But this would be the proper log form uh, for this one. So anytime you have a log base E, that means if you change it back to an exponential, it actually goes back into an E because that was the original base.